We are now joined by Aubrey de Grey. He is Chief Science Officer and co-founder of the SENS Research Foundation. Um, Mr. de Grey, could you briefly describe the mission of your foundation? SENS Research Foundation is a biomedical research charity. We are based in California. And what we do is we are trying to develop medicines that will bring aging under proper medical control so that people will be able to stay completely youthful, just like people in early adulthood, however long they live. That is very interesting. Uh, if people could not die of infirmity anymore, um, the natural renewal of, a, of our society that positively affects things like inventions, innovations, other stimuli, etc., um, would be limited in some way, I think. This could become a dangerous threat for mankind, don't you think? I think that it is certainly important to be aware of that and indeed many other potential problems that might be created as a side effect of solving the biggest problem that humanity has today, namely aging. But I also think that, first of all, those problems are much smaller than the problem of aging. And secondly, it is easy to identify ways to address them. So in the particular case of maintaining creativity and originality, all that I think is really necessary is to ensure that many people switch careers quite a lot, just as I my myself did, of course, switching from computer science to biology at the age of 30. That actually was very effective in helping me to make an important contribution to this field as soon as, well, very soon after I switched fields. And I think if more people did that, that would actually give us more creativity and originality as a society than we have today. Do you really think that uh, the majority of mankind is already open-minded enough for stopping aging in, 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 in total? I spend a lot of my time trying to educate people to understand that aging is a bad thing and that we might be able to bring it under medical control because there is a very entrenched, very deep-seated resistance to thinking of aging in that way. But we do not need everyone to understand this right now. If a few people understand it well enough to provide the money to do the research to bring it into reality, even in the laboratory, just in mice initially, then that will convince people that it's possible to do it in humans and it will happen soon enough. Mr. De, um, Mr. De, De Grey, you are uh, an eye-catching appearance and uh, besides that you are known as a keen to debate personality. Um, who is your favorite participant here at the St. Khan Symposium you would like to, to clash to, to, to clash with, to talk about, about your um, thoughts, about your insights? Well, I think that the real pleasure in being here is not to talk to any one particular person, but to talk to such a talented and diverse audience overall. I was very privileged to have a plenary session this morning speaking with Stephen Sacker on stage about these issues. And I feel that it was extremely encouraging that apparently quite a lot of members of the audience were quite persuaded by what I had to say. As a biologist, uh, will you take anything back home here from the St. Gallen Symposium that you maybe can use for your future work? So far, I have not actually met any other biologists here. But, of course, I do not simply take away stuff from other biologists. The fact that I am meeting people from many walks of life, including many influential people in business and politics and so on, and also, of course, in the media, that is equally valuable to me. Thank you very much, Mr. De Grey, for this interesting interview, and uh, I wish you a pleasant stay here at St. Gallen Symposium. Yeah.